Hi, I'm Jack Westwood, a software engineer at Couchbase. In this demo, I'll show you how CB Shell can smooth migration from Couchbase server to Capella. Hello, and thank you for watching this CB Shell demo. So one of the customer use cases for CB Shell is that it smooths migration between traditional Couchbase server and Couchbase Capella. So let's have a look at the clusters that we have linked to the shell. So here we can see there are two clusters registered for use. There's the remote cluster, which is a Capella cluster. And then we have our local cluster, which is a Couchbase server cluster running on my machine. So let's take a look at the buckets that we have on both these clusters. So we've done this using the buckets command to list the buckets and use the clusters flag with a wildcard to run this against all of the clusters that we have registered with the shell. So you can see here that we have two buckets, one named beer sample and one named travel sample. And both of these are on our local cluster and we have no buckets on our remote cluster. So if you imagine these are something more interesting than sample data, um, you may want to copy these over from our local cluster to our remote. So if we wanted to do this, the first thing we need to do is list all our buckets on the local cluster, which we can do with the buckets command. Then what we want to do is for each of those buckets. Um, so to do this, we use the new shell each command, which allows us to iterate over each row in this buckets table. So for each bucket, so here this bucket refers to one of these rows. We want to run the buckets create command. And the first argument to the buckets create command is the name of the bucket you want to create. So we want to use the same name that we have locally on the remote buckets. Then we need to specify the RAM quota. So this needs to be an integer. So what we need to do is convert from the file size data type, which is, this is, into an int. So we do that using this expression. And finally, we specify that we want to run this buckets create command against the remote cluster, since that's where we want to create them. That's done. So let's check that that's worked. So we can do this using the buckets command again with the clusters flag, but this time run it against the remote cluster. So that has worked nicely. So now say we want to copy over all the scopes in each of these buckets from our local cluster and recreate them on our remote cluster. So again, we start off by listing all the buckets that we have locally. And then for each bucket, we, instead of creating the bucket, this time we want to list all the scopes in each of those buckets. So we can do that using the scopes command. And we want to get the scopes for each bucket. So here you can see we've got a list containing the output of the scopes command being run against each bucket. So these are the scopes in our beer sample bucket. And then here are all the scopes in our travel sample bucket. So before we can recreate these on our remote cluster, we need to do some processing of the data. So firstly, we want to get rid of this default scope since this has already been created on our remote cluster. So we can filter that out using the where not in. So this is another inbuilt new shell command. So what we're doing is we're just saying we want a list of these where the entry and scope is not in default. So as you can see now we have two nice lists of scopes not included in the default scope. And finally, we're not interested in which cluster they're coming from since we know they're all coming from local. So we just want the contents of these scopes columns. So we can do that by doing a get scope. Nice. So now that we have a complete list of all the scopes in all the buckets, we can pipe this list into another each. And for each scope, we want to run the scopes create command. And we want to create the scope using the same name. And we want to create these in the appropriate bucket. And against our remote cluster. 
So now that's finished running, let's check the scopes in our travel sample bucket on our right cluster. All looks good. And now let's do the same check in our beer sample bucket on our remote cluster. Perfect. So now that we've copied over the buckets and scopes, I'm sure you can guess what's coming, coming next. We want to recreate all the collections in each of our cluster. So again, the first thing we want to do is list all of the scopes in uh, all the collections in all of our scopes, sorry, on our local cluster first. So we can do that by getting our list of scopes, and then for each of the scopes, we can run the collections command. So we want to get the collections in the appropriate scope. And from the appropriate bucket. Okay, so here you can see, so these are the collections in our um, brewery scope, in our beer sample bucket. And then here we have the collections in each of our scopes in our travel sample bucket. So now that we've got that list, again, similarly to the scopes, um, we are just interested in the collection. They're not interested in the max expiry or the cluster columns. However, if you did have some custom max expiries here, then you'd be able to pull these out and then you could recreate the collections on your remote cluster with the same expiry that they have on your local cluster. So if we use the get collection command, we just get the contents of these collection columns. And now that we have a list of our collections, we can pipe that list into another each and for each collection we want to use the oh, missing a space here for each collection we want to run the collections create command um, we want to create the collections with the same name that they have locally we want the collection to be in the appropriate scope in the appropriate bucket and finally I'm running this against our remote cluster Okay, now that's complete. Let's check the collections in our beer sample bucket and our brewery scope on our remote cluster. Perfect. And finally, let's have a look at our collections in our inventory scope in our travel sample bucket on our remote cluster. So that all looks good. So in this demo, we've recreated some buckets from a local couch-based server cluster to a remote Capella cluster. Um, and within these buckets, we've recreated the scopes and collections. So this is just one of the things that you can do with CB Shell and one of the ways in which it smooths migration between traditional Couchbase server and Capella. Um, you could also use Couchbase Shell to copy over your data and it can either, even copy over your query indexes for you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. For more information, head over to couchbase.sh to check the documentation.